In this video, we'll cover the different sum functions, some different sum functions that are present in Excel 2007. So let's go right into it. The first one here is the sum function. Pretty simple function. If I want to get into the function, I can type, just type in equal sign, type in sum. We see this drop down that gives us some choices. But what I really like to do is go into the insert function icon here, bring up the window, and since I've already done the sum function before, it listed down here because it was recently used. But if you didn't have it down there, you can just type in sum, click go, it'll search for it, and I see it down here. It's highlighted, and click OK. So what the sum function does is it adds up a number uh, based on a range of cells. So this first number here, I'm going to add, I'm going to select from cell D2 to D11. See that select it? It already tells us that it's 45. But I click OK, and we've got 45 in there. So let's go to the next sum if function. This is the next sum function, which is the sum if function. I go into insert function again. I already have sum if down here because I used it recently. Select that and click OK. Now what it's going to do, the sum if function, is it's going to add the cells based on some condition or criteria. So the criteria range, this first field here is the criteria range. So I'm going to say the criteria range is is access allowed yes or no. So I'm going to select that range and the criteria there's two options here so yes or no. I'm going to type in no. And if it finds cells that uh, are no I want to sum up the times that are accessed today. Like the times that are accessed on the website today. It tells me it's 14 here. Click OK. We've got 14. So just to let you know, here's one no here. That's 7. Another no here. It's 2. That becomes 9. Plus 5 is 14. So that's a nifty feature for sum if. Now sum ifs is a function that lets you add up a range based on multiple criteria. So let's bring up that function here. Sum ifs. Click OK. And we want to select this, and this in the sum ifs function, the first field to select is the sum range. So we'll go ahead and this is the this is the range that we want to add up based on some criteria. So now it's going to ask us for the first criteria range. Let's go back here, uh, select the access allowed yes or no, and let's do that again. We'll, we'll just select no. And then here's our other criteria, criteria range two. And let's go here and go to the access level. Are they standard, guest, or partner? Let's go ahead and select that, and let's say we just want to choose partner. Now this is not case sensitive, so you can type upper or lower case, doesn't matter. And I'll go ahead and click OK, and it just adds up five because there was only one partner that was a no. Now if we wanted to go back and take a look and see that really added something because there was only one, only one value here, let's go ahead and instead of having partner, make that standard. Now it's standard, we click OK, it's going to count 7. So basically on the no, we've got one here standard no, that's 7. Another standard yes, another standard yes, oh, we don't have any no's. Well what we can do is maybe you can change one of them here and let's see if it really adds it for us. So instead of this yes here, we'll type no and we'll see if that 10 gets added to that 7. Press enter and look what we've got there, it becomes a 17. So really, that really does work. Well, anyways, these are the different sum functions in this video. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.